The people or technology? That's a good question. Hands down, I would answer that the investment in people is the, the most critical uh, step to take. I would invest in technology. I think technology is key, is a key element. I believe that the people first and the technology next. I think it's a combination of both. Uh, we need to rely on people because the people will be there in contact with, with the local people to train them on new technology. If we don't invest on innovation, on new technologies, how can we make sure we improve the safety of our food? Investing in technology is important. Uh, investing in people would be more important because people make decisions all along the manufacturing process about food safety and in the supply chain about food safety. So ultimately, consumers depend on good decision making around food safety. There will come a time that you take your smartphone and you swipe it over a product and the smartphone will tell you whether or not a product is safe. For me, the invest of people is the import, most important thing. We not only develop supplier, we also develop interns and human uh, in terms of training and capacity building. Even though we could have the best IT tool for reporting, the best schemes, if our auditors are not at the appropriate levels, then we won't be able to deliver a robust and consistent certification. Well, when you think about where we've come from without new technologies, we really wouldn't have um, many of the foods that we have today. And certainly when you look at the global food distribution system, we're looking at long shelf life, we're looking at um, you know, a number of things that um, if we didn't have the technologies we have, just wouldn't be there. And I think also um, it's about the number of people we're going to have to feed, we're going to have to embrace technology to be able to do that. Technology will advance on its own, we have to invest in the people. To me it's going to be a matter of both really. A piece of equipment is only as good as the people who operate it. Continuity to invest in innovation and new technologies keeps us ahead of the curve in terms of food safety um, activities that could make sure our products are safe in the future. The policies, procedures, protocols, these are really people driven. It's really a combination of both high tech and high touch. This bringing technology into the hands of the people is a combination of doing both of those things. For us as a global supplier, a global provider of audit and certification, it is absolutely critical that we have the best auditors in place. Personally, I'm actually more about high touch because I think technology is, is, is great and we need the tools to continue to drive food safety, but the people are the ones who have to use the tools and bring them to life. We have to take into account that we are searching for known substances and matters. So what about the unknown? So uh, therefore, we need procedures in place and invest in uh, people who have the right skills to define, develop and introduce the right activities. For me, investing in new technology is crucial if you want to ensure uh, that our food is safe for our consumers, because one of the emerging topics in food safety is the prevention of food fraud. So if we want to have technologies that are able to pick up these unknown ingredients, we need to look at fingerprinting, we need to, to look at untargeted screening, and these technologies have not been developed yet. I think the kind of investment which is important to ensure high touch and investing in people is mainly training, mentoring, and capacity building. This will make a big difference in changing the culture, the attitude, and the skills in those who are involved in food safety globally. As we grow more and more developed, I think that we need to have the high-tech part uh, to make things more efficient. The traceability of uh, food and ingredients is uh, of paramount importance, and I think information, uh, the, the connection between the dots uh, in terms of information is, is always going to be very important. Whether it's a pesticide residue or food fraud or other kind of a microbiological contamination, mainly it's the management. And the major factor of management is human. No one can argue that some technology innovations have dramatically advanced food safety. I think of pasteurization, for example, and the reduction of foodborne illnesses due to milk because of technology. But on the other hand, I think people or high touch is pretty important. If you think about food safety management systems, what you write on a piece of paper 
really doesn't mean much. It's what you do that's important. I call that behavior-based food safety. But for me, to advance food safety into the 21st century, you need both, high-tech and high-touch.